the state house and the latest on the bill focused on transgender minors. There was a push to make some amendments to the bill concerning gender affirming medical care, but that effort failed. WRTV state house reporter Meredith Hackler is live with more on those proposed changes and who is behind them. Meredith. Yeah, Mark, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle haven't budged on Senate Bill 480. Republicans say this bill is about protecting kids, while Democrats say that the Indiana General Assembly is trying to insert itself into the hospital rooms of kids and their parents. Democratic Representative Robin Shackelford offered four amendments, but all failed. One would have allowed minors already on hormones or puberty blockers to remain on the treatments as long as they started them before June of this year. Another would have allowed hormones and puberty blockers to be used by minors, but would have banned gender reassignment surgeries for people under 18. Another amendment would have allowed gender therapies for minors as long as the physician finds it in the best interest in the child and the parents gave informed consent. The final amendment that was offered would have allowed families to sue the state if their child was harmed by the ban on gender, gender therapies. I spoke with both Republicans and Democratic leadership about the bill earlier today and here's what they had to say. Being on those uh, drugs for a long period of time have medical consequences and other people in the community, medical community feel like, you know, the, the, and again, the bill hits the right spot. This should be used for uh, certain medical conditions, not all. This is um, uh, health care for kids uh, that are going through this transition, these transition uh, period in their life, and um, let's leave that to the parents to make that, those decisions. Now, the next time the bill will be heard in the House, it will be on third reading. And since as of right now, there haven't been any amendments to the bill, if it passes, it heads to the governor's desk. Mark. Meredith, before I let you go here, you know, there's a, a lot of these amendments you mentioned seem to be focused on allowing minors who are currently on the hormones to remain on them. Why is that? Yeah, so right now, the way that the legislation is written is that if the bill passes, minors that are currently on any of those gender therapies like hormones or puberty blockers would have to stop them six months after the bill is signed into law. It's something that LGBTQ advocates say could have bad consequences for transgender youth. Mark? Mm, so complicated there. Our Meredith Hackler live at the Statehouse for us.